Hello everyone. Welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and I am VP CRM Solutions and Analytics in BISP Solutions. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how can we use Salesforce Wave Connector with Excel. So before moving ahead, let's try to figure it out what is a wave and what are the various components available within WAVE and what are the different ways to which we can load data into Salesforce WAVE. As you know that Salesforce WAVE is an online cloud BI solutions and it is introduced by Salesforce which can directly pull data from Salesforce and we can perform visualization on top of that. Salesforce WAVE is also known as WAVE and uh, it is a cloud blaze base platform which would be used for connecting data from multiple data sources and uh, we can create rich dashboards by using that data and at the same time we can share our views on dashboard to the decision makers or to the top level management to the top level hierarchy we have other bi tools available in market but uh, i would compare salesforce wave much more attractive because it's a cloud solution installation is not required for it and as you know that salesforce crm is getting popular in industry so it can easily pull the data from salesforce and we and visualization can be done without requiring any additional driver so let's talk about the wave architecture or the various components so basically Salesforce wave comprises of three main components data set lenses and dashboards and all of them they are bundled up into an app or into a folder which is known as app this app could be a private app or it could be a shared app date so for any visualization the very first requirement is to load the data to bring the data into that tool and then we can the visualization can be done so Salesforce wave can directly pull data from SAP or Salesforce or CSV but for getting the from bringing the data from SAP into data set into wave analytics would be would be requiring the additional drivers let me show you that so as you can see here these are the additional partners so to bring data from SAP or any other technology into wave will be requiring the will be going to take help of these additional partners either either snap logic or dell boomi or jitterbit or informatica or talent or ibm to bring data directly from salesforce we we have a we have a salesforce connector we can use it to directly bring the data from salesforce into wave then we have csv connector which will help us to load data direct load data directly from csv files so this video is for same that how can we load data into Salesforce wave without using the CSV driver without using the CSV connector. So let's suppose we have a data set. We have our data set in sale in Excel sheet in Excel workbook and I would like to load the data directly from there onto wave. So that could be done by using Salesforce wave Excel connector. So for that, what you have to do is first of all, I, if you are okay, means you either you can use your Excel desktop version or online version. So I'm going to use both version. So in desktop version, you can prepare your data first of all, or first of all, you can build the connectivity and then data can be loaded later on. So click on insert In insert. You will find out one option called apps. When you click on apps, it will ask you, to like feature apps or my apps and in my case I'm not getting login option but because I have already got a Microsoft account and I have logged in so as you can see here I'm not able to get apps here so I click on office store and it will take me to office store and from there we can search for wave connector so I search for wave connector so that's the way that's the connector which would be requiring I would be requiring Salesforce wave connector for Excel and it makes it easy to create Salesforce analytic cloud data set from Excel data. So I click on this link and click on add when we click on add 
it gives next option that click to launch office with salesforce wave connector for excel we can open in excel or if you don't have any office installed on your drive on your device we can open using off office offline sometimes it might be possible that you will be traveling or and you would like to load data you would like to quickly load data from your uh, online excel online excel workbook into salesforce wave so i would prefer to go with this solution so i click on office online I will say open in Excel online. So it will open the Excel and uh, it says the next is it says to launch this add in. You must save this document to one drive. So uh, because I have already logged in into my Microsoft account. So that's why I'm able to get this all these options. So I click on save to one drive. It is asking to sign in again. So I'll just quickly sign in. If you have not signed in, if I, it would ask you to sign in quickly sign in. and I just provide the credentials and sign in so it will save on my one drive and you can see the Excel online has been opened successfully now once it is opened successfully on the right side I'm getting wave connectivity wave connector and it's saying the wave connector it says it indicates that the wave connector has been configured successfully with the current subscription current excel now the next requirement is, is say the salesforce account is required to use the wave connector so please log in so i click on login to salesforce and it will ask the credentials for log salesforce to be logged in so let me provide my credentials so that's my Salesforce credentials. I provide my password. When we click on login, it will ask for some permission sets. It is asking for accessing the basic information and also simply click on allow. And the connectivity is done and the connectivity has been established now it says please make a selection or bind the current selection so what can we do is i just create one blank document it's an excel sheet so i quickly create one excel sheet or we can have another sheet and in this sheet let me copy paste the data from my existing data set so that's my company sales data so i copy this data and paste it online and finally I select the data set I selected all the records I select them and click on bind the current selection so I click on bind current selection as soon as I click on bind current selection just make a note that it has automatically captured the year month actual sale and budgeted sale along with their data types year month actual sale and budgeted sale and it is asking us to submit the data so i click on submit data and the data will get uploaded on my wave account so it says your data has been imported to salesforce now we can go to wave and we can uh, visualize it so i click on go to my analytic cloud and in my analytic cloud when i click on my data set i can see a salesforce wave connector data set uh, forget about that this one that's an old one so let me delete this one that's not we are targeting we'll be targeting the current data set which we uploaded just now so that's the salesforce wave connector data set now we can quickly visualize it and you can see it says salesforce wave connector for excel 2013 and we can quickly build lenses so I can say sum of actual sale and sum of budgeted sale and we can group it by month and I can quickly take it to the dashboard so I'll say step one and we can quickly visualize it and I can visualize it by using by creating a pyramid chart 
we can quickly build a nice pyramid chart using that data so how fast it is to load the data from C from csv file or from excel sheet onto wave analytics by using salesforce wave connector so any data which we want to load into salesforce we can bring data into excel sheet we can do data massaging as required and then we can load data into salesforce wave so that's all in this video if you have any questions you can write to us on www.bfpsolutions.com you can contact us for consulting services for salesforce as well as for training both in salesforce admin developers and wave analytics thanks for watching goodbye